along with two others said to have come from the Philippines who were residing on the island. Hello! Hello, Buddha! Welcome back to my channel! And welcome to Hamburg! Bowen Island, British Columbia, is an island municipality that is part of Metro Vancouver and within the jurisdiction of the Islands Trust located in Howe Sound. There is regular ferry service from Horseshoe Bay provided by BC Ferries and semi-regular water taxi services. BC Ferries, a de facto provincial crown corporation, offers a ferry service using the Queen of Capilano Car Ferry, which travels between Horseshoe Bay in West Vancouver and Snug Cove on Bowen Island. Bowen Island is an idyllic destination in the middle of Howe Sound just a 20-minute ferry ride from Horseshoe Bay, West Vancouver. Quiet and alluring, a short distance from Vancouver, it's a welcome escape from the stresses of city life. Benson Flores, fisherman, trapper, beachcomber, born around 1848 in the Philippines, died the 11th of April 1929 in Vancouver, BC. Flores is likely the first known Filipino immigrant to Canada on record. Benson Flores was one of the first documented Filipino immigrants in British Columbia. He was an early settler of Bowen Island, northwest of modern-day Vancouver. According to the census records, he immigrated in 1861, a decade before BC became part of Canada. However, 
He may or may not be the first Filipino to arrive in Canada. In the 18th century, there were unnamed seafarers from the Philippines among the diverse crews of European and American vessels trading in the Pacific Northwest. Flores built his homestead inland, close to Trout Lake, now Grafton Lake. Records show that on 7 April 1892, Flores and fellow Filipino William Matilda claimed District Lot 1426 on Bowen Island. The lot consisted of more than 60 acres of landlocked property south of Mount Gardner. Flores' lot was near the land owned by Joseph Mannion, a prominent pioneer of Granville, now Vancouver. Flora's name appeared in the first list of Bowen Island residents in the 1899 BC City Directory. The document indicates that he was a fisherman. He was also described as a trapper. At the time, trapping was a common and efficient method to catch wild fish. Among his hobbies, he liked to play concertina and sing. A photo from the Bowen Island archives shows his house with walls made up of cedar shakes mounted on logs. The boathouse floated as the water level rose up. Flores also rented boats as a means of income. According to the Bowen Island Historians Group, his business was the first boat rental operation in Snug Cove, years before steamer ships conveyed tourists to the island. Evidence shows that Flores visited William Davis General Store in Snug Cove after its opening in 1907. The store ledger suggests he was a tobacco aficionado. For much of his lifetime, he remained on the island. He lived closely with the family of steam engineer Jacob Dorman. Flores was described by George Dorman as his greatest friend and was referred to as Old Ben. In 1909, Flores became a naturalized Canadian. In winter 1926, Flores' quiet life was interrupted as he was mistaken for a traffic accident victim. According to newspaper reports, a train operator found a body of a man by a road intersection. The police then brought the body to the hospital. He had reportedly been hit by a motorist in Vancouver. The body had a fractured skull, cuts and bruises. William Matilda, an acquaintance of Flores, misidentified the victim in the Vancouver General Hospital as Benson. Despite Matilda's claim, two other men denied that it was old Ben, then in his late 70s. The testimonies led Constable James Cunningham to search for B. Sloris, sick, the boathouse proprietor of Bowen Island. In the end, authorities conclude the dead man never lived on the island. Later, Benson Flory suffered from bladder and kidney diseases. He died on the 11th of April 1929 in Vancouver. He left several hundred dollars in the bank, a boat and an engine as part of his estate. Though Flores did not have a family of his own, his life proved to be eventful until 81 years old. He was laid to rest in an unmarked grave in Mountain View Cemetery where some other early Filipino immigrants are buried. Credit to Canadian Encyclopedia. Filipino-Canadian in Vancouver, B.C. was digging through the archives when he learned the story of Benjamin Flores, better known as Ben or Benson, after his name turned up as someone who had lived in Canada back in the 1860s. The unmarked resting place of Ben Flores, who died in 1929, can be found in a cemetery in Vancouver, B.C. 
His grave was discovered following an investigation by Joseph Lopez, a radio host and journalist in Vancouver, who is convinced that Ben Flores was Canada's first Filipino immigrant, according to records. Nobody thought about him for a long time. He died alone, said Lopez. Flores's grave is in the Horn section of Mountain View Cemetery between 31st and 33rd Avenue in Vancouver. His interment is confirmed by the records at the office of the cemetery manager. Flores was buried in the Vancouver Cemetery several miles from Bowen Island, where he had lived for a long time. The island is about 30 kilometers from where he was buried. Lopez's journey of discovering the identity of Canada's first Filipino immigrant to Canada had begun. Irene Howard's book, Bowen Island, 1872-1972, mentions the name of Ben Flores, along with two others said to have come from the Philippines who were residing on the island. 